Good afternoon, this is Rob at Next Truck Sales. I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2016 Kenworth T680. This is one of five Kenworth T680s that we have in stock. They all look identical to each other. There are minor variations between the five trucks that we have. The minor variations are simply tires that are on them, the mileage, and the price. Other than that, the specs are all identical and they're reconditioned to the same standard. All trucks are going to come with all position disc brakes. They'll come with power locks, power mirrors, power windows, full instrumentation, spin around um, workstation table, along with a uh, refrigerator and a Packard MX-13 485 horse with a 13 speed manual and 336 gears. Uh, the axles are 12 and 40 or 12, five and 40. And I'll take you through this truck and introduce you to it as well as explain a little bit about the process of importing a truck from Canada. So first off, low profile tires, 295, 80, 22.5. We've had um, some of these wheels have all been sent out. Actually, some of them have been sent out. Not all of them have been sent out yet. These have not been polished yet, um, but they will be polished before the trucks are all delivered. It's a matter of getting into our supplier and actually uh, having them get through them. With COVID, it's been uh, a struggle to try to get trucks cleaned up as quickly as we would like. So you'll notice that on the one side it had a full skirt and on this side it has a partial skirt or skirt to the end of the cab. And that's because it had an APU there previously, which has been removed by the previous owner. Uh, the trucks do have low, oil low idle time, but they do not have an APU. It would have been right in that spot there. I do like these wheels though. These are the Kenworth seven spoke. Give you a good look at them there. Twin 120 gallon tanks. And you'll see here, we've sandblasted and painted the frame. It's got a little bit of dust on it, but you can see the frame's in good shape. We've taken off all the catwalk and um, we've, uh, we've taken off the wheels and sandblasted in and around the frame. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the axles. Looks awesome. So it looks like new. Uh, this truck does have jumper posts in the center, which is nice if you uh, do have flat batteries you will um, not have to take the step off in order to boost it because the batteries are inside of uh, that step and there's six bolts that you need to remove otherwise. Kind of a hassle. Uh, it has a Holland 35, 105th wheel, sliding fifth wheel. And if you look on the back of the cab, you'll see where the, uh, where the uh, air conditioning condenser was for the APU unit. Okay, on the inside here, you'll see we have stereo subwoofer and a full pass through along with, uh, with tow hook mounts. We have a bunk access door on this side. We have a bunk access door on the other side with curtains and opening sliding windows. Uh, you've got your def tank in there. I'm gonna pop this hood up and give you a listen. So Michelin steering tires. So uh, you can see the, the discs in there, disc brakes. Um, Packers are good for not leaking oil. And you can see this one here has a brand new alternator as well. Uh, the engine's bone dry. Uh, that is the uh, the pan is shiny because we painted the frame. Um, this is an EPA 2013, so this is the second generation uh, MX-13 engine. So it's a lot more reliable than the older uh, 2010, which wasn't particularly good. But they learned from all the errors that they made on that engine, and they they fixed it up and they created this engine and came out in late 2013 model year, uh, early 2014. And this is that engine. You can tell by the um, high pressure fuel lines there. One of the things I do like about the Kenworth uh, trucks with manual transmission is they have a clutch pedal that's over air. So it's air assisted. It's like power steering, but it's using air to assist your, the amount of effort that you have to put with your left foot to push the clutch pedal down. So it makes it real easy to shift. It almost feels like a car. It's that light. Um, and if you look here, you'll see we've got HID ballast so that it's got high intensity lighting on the front so you don't really have to worry about upgrading your headlights because they do work really well. All of our trucks are going to have the same things done to them uh, so when you buy it it doesn't matter if you buy this one or you buy one of the other four or one of the other 15s or any truck that we have we run them through the shop they get a fresh DOT we force a regen we make sure that all the all this you know all the emission systems are all working 100% and there's no faults. And if there are, we're gonna fix them up. 
Uh, you're, so you're gonna get a truck with a fresh DOT, a fresh service. So we've greased it and we've made sure that, you know, your, your engine oil and filters are changed. And if we see any other filters that look like they need to be addressed, we'll deal with it. So for example, if the fuel filters look dirty or the air filters look dirty, we're gonna get our mechanic to change those out. Okay, so I'll give you a good wide angle perspective on this. Um, one other thing that we uh, are gonna do is we're gonna put new mattresses. We don't sell trucks with used mattresses. So uh, every truck gets a brand new foam mattress um, and they're all professionally detailed. If you look at how clean the interior of this truck is, you, I'm not gonna say you would eat off of there, but it's definitely clean, uh, especially for a used truck. Um, I'll just quickly show you the spec here. So you're gonna see it's a 336 gear ratio it's a 13-speed manual and it's a 485 horse. This particular VIN, 976719. I'm gonna show you a couple of other stickers on this truck which are important for those of you that are considering importing the truck to the US. Uh, the vehicle's California compliant and EPA um, compliant. So that means that the engine, the emissions are all identical to the engines that you would have sold for trucks that in the US, meaning that there's really no modifications that need to be made to the truck in order for it to comply. Although we do still check with our customs broker to make sure that it does comply. And if there are things that need to be modified, then we will. Um, in this particular truck, I don't think you'll need to make any changes. Now this seat here at some point has been changed. It's um, genuine leather and it says Kenworth, which is nice. And it's the same color but the original seat that came in this truck would have looked like that. It was a cloth one. This one here has uh, six way adjustments and it's got heated, it's also heated. So I'm gonna take you inside here cause it's freezing outside. And I'll show you what we got going on on the inside here. So power locks, power mirrors, power windows, and heated mirrors up there. Uh, and I'm gonna fire it up cause it is cold. I'm gonna push, my, push the clutch down. So this one here, it's got, looks like the steering wheel's been replaced. It's brand new or really close to brand new. Uh, this one has 481,000 miles and we've got full instrumentation. So we've got oil pressure and voltage and we've got fuel and temperatures galore. So that's nice. I'm not a big fan of the factory GPS that comes on these. I know some of them do come with a touchscreen here and um, some people have asked me, hey, have you got one with the touchscreen? I really want the touchscreen. Well, it is kind of cool that you've got some of the instrumentation uh, in that screen, but at the same time, if you ever have a problem with that thing, and we did on a couple, they're insanely expensive to replace. So I think you'd be better off if you really wanted the navigation to go out and get yourself a really good navigation, either uh, GPS from Garmin or something like that, or there's some really nice stereo systems that you can get with navigation built in. Coming over to here, cruise control is right there. Uh, you can see I got the mood lighting on, which is activated by the switch over here. Uh, two position switch, first is mood lighting, second click is the uh, overhead lamps. Uh, you've got tilt and telescoping steering wheel, which is through this little handle here. Uh, like I said, we got the 13 speed manual, and I'll take you through in the back. This is my favorite part of the truck. This, I'm not gonna do it today, but this, if you grab that handle, <coughs> excuse me, the seat spins around. You kind of slide the seat a little bit forward first, pull the handle, spin the seat, and it'll face this table. Now, this isn't set up as a table now, but if I grab this little handle underneath here and spin it, of course, we do need to move that seat forward. Hang on a moment. So if I bring that seat forward, then that table is gonna go into place there. You've got a spot for a uh, DVD or some kind of a cable box. You've got a flat screen TV mount there as well. And you've got a spot here for a microwave. Now, looking through here, we've got double bunk access doors. So if you pull on that little, little handle, or if you pull on that little handle, the door will open. And also at the bottom here, you can roll up that curtain and there's clips at the top that will hold the curtain in place and you've got your window there. You've got a step here to go up to the upper bunk. You've got that handle, we can pull that handle down and that will come down and you've got access to your upper bunk. Underneath here, we've got another handle, which if I reach underneath here, I'm gonna have to push down to do it. 
we've got access to our heating and air conditioning unit for the bunk and you've got your senior stereo subwoofer is there as well now i'm going to close that up and i'm going to show you the back panel here it's got some controls you get a refrigerator on off which is a great feature and it triggers a light in the dash up front if you leave the truck and you've left your fridge on just to remind you not to come back to flat batteries we've got a three-way switch for your bunk lighting and we've got another switch here for this is our cute little light over here it's that little red light which is kind of cool and it's also mood lighting on the floor here just when you're driving at night and you can lock your doors from here as well which is nice for security when you go to bed if you forget to lock your doors you don't need to get up to turn them off now I'm gonna take you under the hood and then I'll talk a little bit about the process of importing a truck actually I'm gonna talk about the process of importing the truck because I'm cold and then we'll go out and have a look under the hood so the way it works is assuming that we make a deal let's say it's this particular truck and we agree on the price I send you a contract with payment instructions you take it to your bank they wire us the money when we see the money in the bank then we send the truck out to a final DOT on it and inspection and service and we always like to do the DOT and service right before the truck is sold as opposed to if I did it a month ago when we brought the truck in because then the truck's been sitting so we want that DOT to be fresh so freshly inspected but the truck will uh, then be shipped it's usually two to three days after the truck is ready that we'll end up shipping the truck so we're talking from the time that we receive payment to the time that the truck actually leaves Canada we're talking probably three to four days once it crosses into the US it's either going to go into Flint Michigan or it's going to go into Niagara Falls New York uh, it needs to sit for two weeks and this is a US customs rule just to make sure that we because um, we ship it over in bond and the bond says that the truck is going to sit while they do their due diligence to make sure that the truck meets uh, the criteria for US uh, US roads once the truck is ready to pick up I'll reach out to you and say hey your trucks ready when do you want to pick it up at that point we agree on when you're going to pick it up and I'll I'll courier courier you the paperwork that you need uh, one of which is the title and the other of which is a trip permit that you can drive home with uh, we use your insurance for the trip permit so you'll need to gather insurance at that point and uh, simultaneously you're going to get some paperwork from US Customs which is all the paperwork that you'll need along with the title you're going to take that to the local DMV and they will give you your title uh, there's no surprise taxes or fees uh, the price we quote and the price we, price we talk about is the price that you're going to pay now if there are local state taxes or any other taxes that you would pay on any other truck that you would buy similar to this obviously you're gonna pay those and I'm not a tax expert but I know I've never sold a truck to anybody that somebody came back and was surprised that they paid something that they weren't expecting to pay so there's no taxes on this I guess is the best way to explain it now I'm gonna take you outside and I want you to listen to this engine it's exceptionally quiet I've got my, my ear pods on, but I think you can tell there's not a lot of noise on this truck. Just listen to that. Very quiet. So this is the MX-485 second generation engine. You can see it's running great. Packard actually breaks these engines to million miles they say 90 percent of their engines will make it to 1 million miles 90 percent are expected to last 1 million miles they've done some non-destructive testing they've taken engines apart and looked at trucks with an engines with a million miles on them and compared the pistons and rings and, and cylinder liners to what they look like when they're new and I won't say they look like new, but they certainly look, uh, look to be in good shape. I think it's closed. It's hard to do this with one hand. And I might not get it. I'm going to leave it. I'll give you a good wide angle shot. So, my name's Rob. Next Truck Sales. If you want to talk to us about making a deal on this 16, one of the other four 16s, and we've got about a half dozen 15s that are virtually identical to this. Call me, my number is 844-489-8789. If I don't pick up, leave a message. 
or you can text me 289-259-6054. I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks and have a good night. Bye.